Uh, Shota? What? Put your headphones on. Hey guys, uh, this is Camille, also known as that Hashi Girl. Uh, welcome to my channel. This is my very first video, also first video in my home. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, for those, I'm assuming that the majority of the people watching this right now are going to be my friends who follow my cooking and my, my health stuff. So, um, but for those who don't know, my name is Camille and um, I have Hashimoto's disease, uh, which is an autoimmune disease, which where basically my body attacks my thyroid. Um, I've tried a lot of different things to try to make that get better. Um, I've, you know, just kind of gluten, I've gone vegan, I've done a pile of different things. And um, now we are at the stage that I am going to be trying uh, the autoimmune protocol diet. Um, so I, I was a little reluctant at first because it's such a restrictive diet, but I'm, Fully, I fully believe that a lot of the issues that I have and a lot of issues that have been um, getting worse with me are caused by some form of inflammation uh, within my body. And an autoimmune disease is basically your body attacking itself and usually there's a reason behind it. Um, so doing this helps uh, to try to figure out what will cause flare-ups and things like that to just try to kind of naturally heal your body. I mean, I have I have Hashimoto's disease. Um, it's going to be there for life, um, but changing my diet is just a way of helping that. Um, also, I am obviously overweight. You can see it. Um, I don't want to lose weight for for beauty purposes. I'm a plus size girl. I'm pretty the way I am. That's not an issue but it's health wise and mobility wise that I do want to lose weight. I am also on a waiting list for gastric bypass um, and I've been on it for about five years uh, and they have told me that in about a year I should be called in for my initial consult. Um, and I don't necessarily want to get the surgery. I will if this doesn't work. Um, but for now it's trying one last thing before the gastric bypass surgery um, to see if uh, if this will help because it, like it's not like I eat a pile of food all the time I am a stress eater I will like there will be no lies in this channel I'm a stress eater and a lot of the stress triggers quite often can be food related um, so that's why I'm trying this to see if uh, a lot of my anxiety and depression will go away using this diet so I do have frozen food on the counter, so I'm going to do this haul, uh, grocery haul with you guys uh, before this goes bad. So um, the AIP diet, like I said, is highly restrictive. Um, there's a lot of things that you can't have. Um, so no grains, uh, no sugars, um, no uh, gluten, no, no soy, no dairy, um, no nuts, no legumes, and things like that. So um, I've kind of taken this as a challenge to find things that I like and that, that I can work with. So we're going to start off with meat. Um, I've always been one for eating clean meats. So always like chicken and, uh, and fish after, cause I'd gone vegan for a bit and then I kind of went back and it was just chicken and fish. Um, I have added a few extra things into my diet this time around, but what we're doing is we're getting all of our meats from our local market. Um, so most of it is pasture raised um, and organic. Some of them aren't certified organic because they can't call it organic unless they pay the, the, the licensing fee. But it's basically close to organic. Some of them are organic um, because they they have the license. But uh, the first thing we bought is rabbit. Now this is frozen. Um, so it's not wild rabbit, it's domesticated uh, rabbit. I'm probably gonna make some form of soup with this. Um, we also got some liver. Uh, this is beef liver. Um, one of them's frozen, the other one isn't because I'm gonna use one to make uh, an AIP liver. 
I also have some pork, uh, ground pork, which I'm going to make some breakfast sausages with. Um, I'm looking into, because you have to lower the amount of um, fruit that you're allowed in the day, which means uh, two to three portions of fruit per day. I like a sweet breakfast sausage. Um, so I'm, I'm debating because naturally if you make your own breakfast sausage, you put maple syrup. You can't have maple syrup in AIP. Um, so I'm thinking of adding a little bit of um, applesauce into it just as a light sweetener. I'm going to look to see if that is something that I can do. If it is, then stay tuned for a recipe for that. Um, so I've got two of those. And then I'm going to put these back in here. I also got this, which I was super excited about. So these are from Springbrook Farms, which is actually a farm very close to where my mom lives, which is about an hour away. Uh, these are lamb bones. So I'm, and there's actually meat left on these too. Like I'm, I'm I feel some soft meat in here. Um, so I'm going to use these for bone broth. I have a pile of chicken bones left for bone broth as well. Oh, I also have some chicken liver from Springbrook Farm. Uh, I have a whole chicken, which I'm not going to lift up here. Uh, the other thing I have, oh, this is, um, I also have some, uh, some chicken thighs from Springbrook Farm. And the other thing I got, which I'm super excited about because I haven't had any of this in a long time. So these are, again, from Springer Farm. Uh, we were going to get them from another place, but they were out because if you don't go to the farmer's market early enough, you won't get this. This sells like hotcakes. It's bacon. Wonderful, wonderful bacon. Uh, this stuff, okay, so it is a smoked bacon. It does have maple, but um, they literally use a quarter cup of maple in like a huge vat um, of brine. Like it doesn't have any preservatives in it or anything like that, which is pretty good. Um, so I don't like, I was like, no preservatives and it's, you know, the, it, this is the good type of bacon. And it like, the amount of maple in it is so minute. I'm not, it, I, it's not bothering me. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take a hit on that. <laughs> I will allow myself a tiny bit of bacon. Right, the other um, meat product I did get, um, we have a lot of kipper snacks left uh, that I do keep. Uh, we have some frozen um, salmon and, uh, not salmon, uh, we have some frozen cod and tilapia I think left right now, or trout actually. And we also have tuna. So those are all in stock here. But I got another one here because it was on sale. This stuff is probably some of the best tuna I've ever had in my life, but it's expensive. It's $11 for four cans. Um, it's from Italy and it's skipjack tuna, olive oil and salt, but it's just so good. It's very good quality. So I was like, it's AIP friendly. I'm gonna get a little bit of it. Um, the other thing too, frozen wise, I got some cranberries. This is for a recipe. Um, that I have, I forget what recipe it was for, but I wrote it down, and a pile of frozen blueberries as well. Um, Cause they keep, and blueberries are good for you. So if I'm gonna have, like if I'm gonna limit my fruit, I'm gonna make my fruit count. Um, So for fruit, we do have, okay, so we have some grapes here that I got. Um, I don't eat as much of those as uh, the rest of my household. I have, two roommates and a husband. So um, these are not organic. If they were organic grapes, I'd be eating them. Um, but like grapes non-organic are some of the he he most heavily pesticide ridden fruit out there. So I just stay away from them as much as I can. Um, I did grab some pink Himalayan salt. Uh, we have some at home, uh, at our old home, we just moved, um, but uh, we forgot to bring it. So this stuff is pre ground so it'll make life easier for me for now. Uh, we've got a few spice flavorings. So I've got some coriander. Uh, I've got some fresh turmeric. 
So like these are like the little tubulars. These are organic as well. Not everything here is organic, um, just because I can't afford everything organic because I'm not working and my husband is not working because he's going through chemo and I'm um, through compassion care right now. Um, but we've got two big garlic cloves and we also have a big thing of basil. Uh, well, it's actually not that big, but it's an organic basil, uh, which I'm hoping to make a form of pesto with. The... I got a few things to bake with. Um, I got arrowroot flour. Um, this was from the corn crib. This is our local uh, organics shop. I got some tapioca starch from them as well and some organic coconut flour. So just a little bit for a few recipes that uh, we were looking at. The other thing I got that's not technically traditional, I got these whole tiger nuts. So I really like nuts. Cutting out nuts out of my diet is very hard for me. Um, so these, they're called tiger nuts, but they're not actually nuts. Uh, they were tub uh, a tubular and um, a tuber. They are a tuber. And um, they're actually really, really good, actually. I ate one earlier and they were they're pretty good. So um, it says that it can be iffy in the AIP diet, but it technically is safe. So we'll do that for now. Um, for salads as well, um, I grabbed a little bit of red kohlrabi. Um, sprouts and some pink radish uh, rose as well. Uh, pink radish, radiro, sorry. I, wrote, I read the French part out. Uh, but these are pretty good. They're $4 each from Vital Source Nutrition. This was at the farmer's market. Um, so it was $4 each or six for, for two, which was great. Um, now, the other place that we went to shop was um, Tomavo which is a local uh, grocery store that we have that basically is all basically loose vegetables and things and it's pretty good price there actually. Um, so like I've got some bananas to do uh, a few, like I'm gonna try to do like some paleo cookies and stuff just it, cause right now I know I'm gonna be craving some sweets. Um, we got some celery. Actually, the celery was from the corn crib. Uh, broccoli. I got some zucchini for a few different things. Uh, one of them is I'm probably going to make uh, zucchini pasta uh, with some nomato sauce. Uh, we've got some apples. Uh, these are uh, these are opal apples, and they're actually really nice yellow apples. Um, we bought them last time and everybody loved them. Uh, I got some leeks. I got these yellow beets. I was looking for red beets, but it, they only sold them in like huge bags. And as of right now, I don't know what to use beets for. I'm still experimenting with beets. They're not a veggie that I'm used to. Um, one turnip for an, a recipe. And we got uh, an acorn squash as well. Um, some kiwi, like a little basket of kiwi, um, three English cucumbers, we got a canary melon, a bag of carrots, and, and a butternut squash. So that was our haul for tomatoes. And then we also went to Costco uh, because we buy a lot of our uh, dried goods there for a lot of the non-API stuff. And we also buy some bulk veggies there. So we bought two bags of sugar snap peas because our whole household eats these like candy. We, are, we still have one full bag left in the fridge but we knew that we were going to run out. Um, I got these mushroom caps. Um, Apparently some people will use these as burger buns. That seems a little excessive, but... Eh. 
Um, and we got some two bags of cauliflower florets so that I can make cauliflower rice because I can't have rice. <laughs> that's gonna suck and two bags of sweet potatoes because I can't have potatoes so that's gonna be my my starch of choice and that is basically our grocery that we have um, that we did today there is a few little things missing um, I didn't get my coconut milk um, or my canned coconut milk as well like the coconut milk to drink like similar to like the boxes of almond milk and stuff and also my box of uh, uh, my cans of coconut milk as well I was missing that the other thing that was missing um, is we didn't get any olives I wanted to try to find some olives uh, without any peppers in them uh, and artichoke hearts as well as I want to try to find uh, a bag of chips that is AIP friendly so like some sweet potato chips in um, like in um, in coconut oil for example and I'm trying to also uh, I'm gonna get a probiotic next pay um, just because you know the whole point of the AIP diet is to heal your gut and I'm also going to try to find some kind of protein powder that's AIP friendly a lot of people get um, like a bone broth powder um, it's not very high in protein, so if anybody has any suggestions for some kind of protein powder, that'd be great. Um, I might eventually get collagen powder, but that's like $64 for a box, of, uh, like a big bottle of it. So it's a little steep for my price right now, but I'm going to look into it. And some green matcha powder as well um, is basically what I have on my list. Plus there's like a few things that I already have in the house here as well, um, food-wise. But in general, this is it. Um, I'm going to keep updating uh, with a vlog. So my goal right now is to do um, a vlog, a weekly vlog of how I'm feeling um, on the AIP diet and uh, health-wise in general. Um, I, like on my birthday, February 20th, um, I have an appointment with my endocrinologist, my first appointment. Thankfully, I've been fighting to get an, an endocrinologist for a while. Um, I just officially got my diagnosis for Hashimoto's uh, last Monday, even though we knew that I had it for years, uh, but I officially got my diagnosis. And so like I'll be updating with that and then I'm going to also start uh, doing some cooking videos. Um, those, I don't have a set schedule yet for how often I'm going to post cooking videos. I'm thinking it's like a schedule every two weeks, uh, hopefully for that. And that'll be on this channel and then I have my voluptuous cosplay channel which is where I'll be posting um, my cosplay and sewing related stuff um, on there as well because I have a few um, projects planned um, this year that I'm going to be updating on there as well um, so if you like any of this just uh, subscribe like comment I love comments like I basically out of this is I want to be able to communicate with other people who have autoimmune diseases and basically I just want to open dialogue and talk to people and and discuss things and see how things work for everyone and that that's my goal with this um, is to basically share what's working with me and what's not working and talk to other people like that and it's gonna be the same with the other channel as well so like if you want if you like sewing and things like that and you want to see more geeky stuff um, go on to voluptuous cosplay uh, and check that out as well and um, just Thank you, um, and I hope that you will enjoy my content from now on um, that I'm going to be posting up, and um, hopefully though you will be with me for days to come, and weeks, and months, and years, and you know you never know. But thank you. Bye.